Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about arrays in Rust and how to define and use them. So an array is basically just a sequence of values that you can access using a name or like a variable. So for example, you can store 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in an array. So we can make this right now. Um, we can use the let keyword and then the name of the array. Let's just call the array numbers. This is, this is equal to and we'll use square brackets here. And inside these, you want to put the values for your array separated by a comma. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that is how to define an array of numbers from 1 through to 5. Now, how do you, how do you loop through these, and how do you use, and, and how do you access these values? So, to access a value in an array, you specify the numbers, or sorry, the name of your array, in our case numbers, then you use square brackets once again. Inside here you put the index of where the value you want to access is located. So the index starts at 0 and it goes all the way up to the size of the array, a minus 1. So this array here will, will go from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So numbers 0 uh, equals value 1, that right there. Numbers 4 is 5, just like that. Alright, so now with this information, how do we loop through an array? Okay, we can use a for loop for this. So we can say for n, in, then numbers, dot i-t-e-r, call that one, simple for loop. Now you can simply just print line, like that. So that'll print out all the numbers from 1 to 5 in this array. Let's now run this program. And we see we get 1 all the way to 5. Perfect. Now, you can also loop through an array in your traditional uh, method, or sorry, your traditional sort of way, by using, once again, a for loop. But if you want to access it by index, you can say for i in then you can say 0 dot dot numbers dot len. So you're looping from the number 0 all the way to the length of the numbers array. So now we can put inside here numbers and then access by index using the i temporary variable or value. So now running this one, we get the same result 1 to 5. Okay. Now you can also specify the type of, sorry, the data type of the elements inside the array. You can do this upside, uh, up here, using a column, then using once again the square brackets, you want to first specify the type of all the values. For example, you can say i32 for a signed 32-bit integer. Then you use a semicolon. This is where you put the length of the array. So this array here has five elements. And that right there achieves the same result. Um, so if we run this, we get hopefully the same thing. And we do. So basically, so basically what's happening is, in the background, Rust is seeing this right here and assuming you mean this. That way, if you don't put that in, that right there is actually happening in the background, if that makes sense. But it's not required to actually specify the type of the array. Okay, so now you can you can also initialize an array with some default values. So for example, if you want an array of 400 elements and each element in there is the value or the number 2, you can do this just like this. So first you put the number that you want, or sorry, the value for all the elements in the array. For example, 2. Then you put a semicolon. And here is where you put how many times you want that element to appear. So how many, uh, the length of the array basically. For example, 400. So now we have an array of 400 items with the value of 2. So now running this one, we should see 2 a bunch of times. There we go. And that is how you can declare and use an array in Rust. Thank you for watching, see you later.